Hey buddies, you are listening to Medley with Maddie and this is Ali Dawson. Uh, you have seen me live on every Monday on your Mind Me on Books episodes, but today we are trying something new. It's going to be your Me on Books and we're going to have uh, multiple chief guests coming to these uh, podcast episodes and talking about their favorite books. So right now I have the uh, first episode, a uh, beautiful lady, uh, the sweet sounding voice. Uh, Aprachita Sharma and uh, she's going to be the chief guest in today's uh, podcast episode and she's going to talk about her favorite book. So let's hear it from Aprachita Sharma. Uh, Aprachita Sharma, so please introduce yourself to our audience. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Aprachita and I'm a software engineer and I love to read. So that's why I'm here, I guess. Okay, so you're the first ever chief guest in this uh, okay, new category of podcast episodes on books. And uh, so what book have you picked up? So see, like when you are a re uh, reader who likes to uh, read different uh, different genre, and then they, that is really hard to pick one book because uh, if I try to choose one favorite, um, that's not possible. It's like uh, Sophie's Choice, uh, impossible. So, but. For this podcast and especially for you guys, I decided that uh, I will talk about Tell Me Your Dreams because uh, it's by Sh Sydney Sheldon and uh, this book has uh, impacted uh, me a lot because it opened my eyes on many different topics and things. So yeah, that's the book I'm going to talk about. Yeah, so we're going to listen about Tell Me Your Dreams, a 1998 novel by Sidney Sheldon. And uh, yeah, Prajita will be presenting her views on this book. Let's hear it from her. Okay, so it's a mystery murder novel. And um, the first time that I read it, um, it was uh, quite uh, shocking for me because um, in, in a way, like this was my first mystery novel and uh, I have this like, you know, um, perspective, like how it will be and all that, like, uh, you know, that there will be a murder and this, there is a mystery compact, like who has done it and uh, why they have done it. But, uh, you know, like uh, when you think about a story and all that, you get uh, like a guessing game, like you play uh, till you reach the end of the book. and. Uh, I'm 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 not like uh, trying to brag or something, but I'm really good at guessing the plots and twists. But um, this one, um, this one really shocked me because um, it uh, has uh, an issue. Like uh, this story is about like uh, three women: um, Ashley, uh, Tony, and uh, if uh, I'm correct, uh, yeah. L.A. Peters. So these three women um, are totally different from each other. Their personalities are different. What they want to achieve is totally different. But at the same time, how their lives are interconnecting to each other. That's uh, the major plot of the book. And uh, um, then I started reading, you know, um, Ashley, that like is the like, kind of the main protagonist, and uh, she has like a tough relationship with her father. Like she wants to prove to him, and uh, she is uh, working in an IT sector, so there is like the work pressure thing and also like that. And then she started to feel like she is being stalked, and while this is happening, there are murder. Uh, there have there have been two murders that has happened to uh, different men and that happened just after they had sex so and the police has no clue on who has done this Ashley feels um, kind of like this is happening uh, near her so like she feels uh, you know scared and there is that feeling and you know the um, good thing about it is that um, as you read it you actually uh, feel that emotion that she is going through like um, and um, that's I think the beauty of the writing like you actually feel uh, what the person is that uh, like you get goosebumps and like uh, your heart is getting uh, fast like when she is uh, going through something and some action is happening so that's like a beautiful thing so yeah uh, she was getting stalked and uh, 
but she has no clue like okay like uh, you know like uh, that happens like in general also like uh, you get that instinct that uh, someone is watching you and all that but you when you look over uh, your surrounding there is no one and you think like oh yeah that will it must be in my imagination i'm overthinking and all that so she try to you know first um, let it go and she had no proof but then one day she came into her apartment and it has been broken into and she saw a message on the mirror written with a lipstick and then she called the police that uh, see this is uh, the message someone has broken into and someone is stalking me and they want uh, to kill me like because the message was you will die and uh, so police of course uh, then taken her seriously and uh, given her a guard to protect her so all this is very confusing uh, and uh, that feeling is there that uh, you are being trapped and uh, something is about to happen what is about to happen like you know that she is getting stalked but now what so and then the story progress that the policeman who has been who is going to be her um, you know knight in shining armor kind of a thing he is found dead now what will she do then what uh, happened is that some circumstances you know occurred and the police suspects tony the other woman who is also her coworker and uh, not exactly her coworker but like she knows uh, her and uh, they suspect this tony to be the girl who has been murdering uh, men all around her and uh, they also suspect that she could be linked to this so from what i hear uh, you like the story and uh, narration the writing as well as the characterization Yeah. So, if you have to pick one that uh, that stands out in all these elements, uh, which one would that be? The twist, because you, yeah, the 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 twist, like the you know, mind-boggling thing. You 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 did not see it happening. You uh, maybe because I read it like um a long time ago. So at that time, all this was very new and and like uh. let me emphasize like this was written in a period of time that is not like uh, ours right now Maybe. so yeah at that time whatever like this concept has been uh, written about it's a totally different thing and uh, you just have to you know uh, take a pause and appreciate uh, the marvelous writing that uh, he has written so how did you end up reading this book or getting suggested recommended um actually uh, that's a funny story <laughs> um so the thing was that um i was in my uh, 11th and uh, it was uh, i was in my hostel and at that time you know uh, we had this issue that um, you can't have uh, your phones with you okay uh, they have this strict rule that there will be no phones and uh, Uh, so what you are going to do about it? like uh, you have like after the whole uh, academy and you come from school you don't even have phone you don't have tv uh, you have nothing to do what are you going to do about it so you know um, i started to uh, get uh, like the hard copies of the books and uh, this was one book that uh, me and uh, my friend like uh, who used to come to the school like she was like a uh, day scholar and i was the hostler so and that is also the thing like we are even we were not even allowed to go outside so she was my only source to get any entertainment <laughs> and she used to come and give me these books so this was one of the books that she has given to me okay so did you end up reading other sydney sheldon books oh uh, yes after this i got addicted to sydney sheldon books like uh, it was like a whole different phase for me uh, yeah okay so if you want someone uh, you know even if a uh, guy a guy or girl doesn't read book and uh, they want to read this book what is one convincing uh, statement or factor that you would uh, tell them to read this If you 
you don't if you uh, don't read books usually but um, you like mystery you like uh, the feeling uh, your adrenaline rush uh, then you should surely give it a try because the writing is so good that you will fe- uh, surely feel whatever the character is going through and uh, as i have said it earlier like the character is going through up uphill and the whole roller coaster of emotions so yeah yeah uh, that was a great talk aprajita uh, first ever episode and uh, you have uh, really made us uh, go into the world of uh, this particular uh, story and yeah how did you feel about this episode uh, first first thing that we are doing something new yeah this is new for me as well okay like i don't go around uh, like uh, giving podcast and everything and uh, this has been a nice opportunity to explore something new and uh, i will be looking forward to hearing my voice in uh, this channel and hopefully other people find uh, it this channel as well and they like this episode and uh, if they like it i will come again that is very kind of you uh, oh yeah thank you i am very glad over is tell me your dreams written by uh, sydney sheldon and i'm sure it's available on amazon flipkart or any other bookstore nearby you in town or city do purchase it and uh, give it a try it's a super thrilling mystery that had uh, filled the gap of uh, loneliness uh, prasita went through in hostel and <laughs> yeah so give it a try and thank you so much aprajita for being here and uh, lending your voice for this first ever podcast episode your first ever chief guest and uh, it has been a great uh, talk with you uh, thanks a lot thank you madi thank you mwm and uh, let's work together again very soon thank you guys have a great time uh, see you until the next podcast episode uh, you are listening to edli with madi youtube television and this is Maggie Dawson signing off bye bye